Hi everyone, James here. Should an update to the build. I've uh, sprayed the interior with some primer using the Humbrol one. Just to give the paint something to bite to. I usually don't, but I'll, the every time I don't prime I have problems, so I've decided now to prime it. That's the progress so far. Just have to paint the interior green. I'm using the darker version. It's uh, this one, as opposed to the lighter RF interior green one.
from James here just dry fitting the canopy I'm going to use for the Harvard on um, uh, modeling it just required me to cut along here up to this panel line uh, as stated in the instructions uh, highlighted in red I've also removed this piece here for a, another version of narrow, I believe.
using the Tamiya fine line uh, engraving blade. It's the two mil. It's now being cut out both sides. This side's okay. I did go slightly low on this side. I'll have to fill in here when I glue the canopy together. It's pretty good.
Kelvin James is. So this is the the build progress so far. The, the rear control services, the wings, fuselage and pilot's interior all glued together, painted the interior also. There is a bit of an issue with the, the wheel wells here. It's causing a gap just in here. As you can see, the, the way it goes together is not very uh, good. Uh, this side isn't too bad. Maybe when I've uh, glued the two halves together, it misaligned slightly, and then going to glue the wings together to the fuselage, it misaligned again. So that's the aircraft itself, then the canopy. I've mastered it. There is a video, a basic guide um, showing how I mask my own canopies if you don't have a canopy set, a mask set from. This one was tricky. The front windscreen, as the the framing wasn't pronounced very well, it was there, but you couldn't um, rub the masking around, so I had to guess that one. 